What's up, y'all? It's story time once again. Okay, so the last video was uh, talking about me versus Philip Hot Sauce Champion down at Run and Shoot. And I have a bunch of other basketball stories, but today's story isn't going to be about basketball, but it will be about Run and Shoot. So, um, this is uh, adult conversation, so kids, get out of here. Are you gone yet? Okay, good. So, okay. Now, you now you have to sort of uh, picture this, right? This is 1998, 99, 2000, etc. And, pardon me. And um, the down low was really big that like that had just kind of really come into everybody's lexicon right so that that became a thing like oh man so and so is on the dl or i think so and so might be on the down low right or damn did you hear so and so is on the down low but if a dude is really on the dl you won't know you know why because they're on the dl but you won't know until well that actually is what this uh story is about so okay all my basketball dudes right now you know that day when you play extra hard or play extra games and the games are really physical and after about two hours you're like man i am beat up so okay i was there right i was there and um, it it had to be either a Saturday or a Sunday, okay? And I am uh, back in the locker room, right? Okay, thinking about shower. All I can think of is, man, I need to get in the shower. I need rest. I need therapy. I need, you know, heat, ice, massage. I need everything, right? So, okay. And so what happens is I'm back there in the locker room, right? And when I get there, there's these two other dudes back there, right? Now, they were both like bodybuilder types. Like one of the guys was a short, stocky guy. I mean, by short, I'm, I'm, I'm saying he was probably about 5'11", okay? And, and like super buff, like probably about like 230 pounds, like a... You know, like a running back, you know, like a big, big, you know, guy, right? And then the other guy was was taller, not not quite as muscular or anything, but taller, like probably about six four, six foot five. And they're talking about real estate and this and that. And I'm just back there, just like just like okay man can i get my shirt over my head <laughs> can i get these shorts off how about these socks they're all soggy and all that right so uh and you know how it is like you know you're trying to organize everything in your bag and this and the other right so okay so they're still still talking and then somewhere uh after about maybe five or six minutes, the larger of the guy, you know, like the six foot, five inch guy leaves. Okay, like, okay, you know, everything's fine. So now it was just me and the short buff dude, right? And it was weird because nobody else was walking back, back there in the locker room, it's just us. Okay, fine. And so, um, like we don't even really acknowledge each other really right so okay so now by now i'm i'm naked and i wrap myself up right so i'm in the towel and i walk back into the shower right so now okay so now he was at an angle okay but now he's seated to where when i have to get up to go into the shower He's seated where like he can look like right back into the shower. Now he can't see every shower, okay? And and like he isn't looking at me. So I'm not thinking about him, right? So I get into the first uh um um 
uh, shower right there, right? And, um, you know, I'm not thinking anything about the guy, right? So, you know, you're in the shower, soaping up and everything, you know, and, and all this type of stuff. And I'm just thinking about, man, I can't wait to get home. So, rinse off and everything. When I pull back the curtain, I see dude like this. Yeah, yo. He was looking like this. And I'm like, yo, this dude staring at me? Like, what the? So then, okay, <laughs> I'm wiping myself off, wrap myself up. And now as I walk kind of like out of the shower area back into like the locker room area, he gets up. He gets up. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you. He gets up like this, right? And then as I'm, I'm walking out, he starts walking and he locks eyes with me like this. And he walks right and he's looking right at me, right eye to eye. And then just as he gets about maybe two feet away from me, he cuts his eyes and walks by me into the shower area. And I'm looking around like, yo, did anybody, yo, did, did y'all, hey, did y'all just see, yo, this dude's on the D. Nobody was back there. Nobody. And, and, and I'm telling you, there was nothing feminine about this guy whatsoever. He was a manly man, he-man dude, okay, who wanted him some him. <laughs> Straight up, bro, wanted him some him, and that him was me. Yeah, and, um, you know, that was the thing down there, right? Oh, and so anyway, so um, I got myself together, uh, I got got dressed uh by the time i finished dressing i don't th even think he was out of the shower yet i don't think so but i think that the move was for me if i was into that was to like you know come back into the shower with him and you know make something happen <laughs> but no i was not down for that right but so anyway yeah so but that's the thing um Run and shoot. Uh, there were a lot of women down down there, but there were, you know, I mean, there's a lot of. It, it was just, it was, it was just live down there. Uh, but, or I should say, and though, like, very, very gay, very gay. Okay, like I had another situation where, um, uh, you know, so so like they had lockers on the outside, you know, uh, which were actually better because you could watch them out there. If you put your stuff in a, in a locker in the uh, locker room, you know, there was always the uh, threat of like theft, you know, so that's the, the uh, thing. But uh, actually, there was even the uh, threat of, of, um, of uh, theft on the outside too, but you know, you figured that would be less. So, um, but yeah, like one time, um, I was playing and I went to my locker to get a towel or to change, change shirts. And there was a tiny piece of paper wedged in, you know, and I'm like, what the hell is this? So I, you know, pick it up, open it up. And it said Steve <laughs> with a phone number on it. And I'm pretty sure that I know, no, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I know who that guy was, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, uh, there was this other dude that was um, like one day, um, some, some sort of way we just start you know talking about basketball and stuff and then the conversation goes to women and he's like yeah man these women out here man yo man i can't even mess with them man because because you know when i lay this thing on them they just be sprung man so i'm thinking okay you know do just like a you know, braggadocious dude whatever right 
Yeah, man, because, you know, I got this big, you know, Emma effing thing thing. All right, well, good for you, bruh. Like, you know, you got a big thing thing. All right. Yeah, man, this thing thing I got, bruh, I be laying it down, B. Yo, at that point, I'm like, okay, I see where this is trying to go. <laughs> I shut shut that down quick, but yeah, 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 man. Um, Anything that you heard about run and shoot being off the chain like that, yeah, it's it, 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 true. Just true. Like, it, yeah, man. Hella gay. And, and like, hella, like, macho, like, he-man gay, man. You know, I mean, like, you had feminine, like, dudes in there also. The guys that, that never played basketball, that always wore tights and, like, belly shirts and stuff like that. But you had some rough looking dudes in there that were trying to make it happen with you. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, that's another run and shoot story about the down low and run and shoot, man. But uh, I will be back with another video soon uh, about basketball stuff because I have a bunch of them also. And um, until then, yo, later. This is Lee.